Hey guys, JM Sports 100 here. JMSports.org. Um, here to do, here to give my thoughts on the NASCAR Nationwide Series race that took place today at Las Vegas, and also give my thoughts, um, my my preview, my version of the preview um, for the Sprint Cup race tomorrow. I can't really tell you a lot about the nationwide race for today. I did not get a chance to watch it because it was on ABC, and my local ABC was um, showing some high school uh, hockey conference final game. So I didn't get the chance to watch uh, the nationwide race. So I spent most of my I spent most of the race uh, doing other stuff, but keeping an eye on the live leaderboard on NASCAR.com and. Uh, I can say this, I thought from what I was seeing in the beginning, um, I thought it was going to be another Kyle Busch domination. You know, Kyle Busch came out, he led all 200 laps last week at Phoenix in the nationwide race, and I just thought it was going to be a Kyle Busch show again. It, it pretty much was when it comes right down to it. Uh, something obviously happened to Kyle Busch, I sure wish I knew what it was. Um, I'm going to have to do all you know, this research on that myself. Uh, I'm assuming it was a, a wreck or something that went wrong with the car. Um, uh, yeah, it doesn't uh, it doesn't say anything on NASCAR.com about it, uh, but I know that he had a A horrible finish, um, but I do know that Mark Martin won. Congratulations to him. He is the all-time nationwide leader, and uh, so like I said, congratulations to him. Um, wish I could have saw the race. Thought it was going to be like I said, uh, the Kyle Busch show is. Um, what I was. Thinking, I do know that Mark Martin had a last lap pass on Brad Keselowski because uh, Keselowski uh, cut another tire, hit the wall. Wish I would have got to see that. But once again, um, no points handed out for first place uh, due to the NASCAR uh, rule system. Um, Tony Stewart, Kyle Busch, and all Mark Martin have won the three races and so still no first place points. Handed out because it has been, uh, um, it's been Cup Series uh, declaration competitors that have uh, won the won the nationwide races so far. Uh, so I can't say a whole lot about it. Um, unfortunately, I wish I could. <laughs> Excuse me, Kyle Busch finished, I believe. Um, 30th. I do want to say, in fact, I can maybe tell you in a second. Uh, Nationwide is off next weekend. Cup Series is off next weekend as well, so they get a weekend off before we head to Thunder Valley. Also, another big highlight Danica Patrick, fourth place finish, best finish ever by a female in NASCAR history. Congratulations to her. So, um, a big deal for her. Um, they don't really have anything updated. Um, NASCAR, NASCAR.com has to be really slow about updating things now because they have to figure out points and, and all that stuff. So, um, that will bring us, however, to tomorrow. Um, and the Cobalt Tools 400 from Las Vegas. So that's what we're up to tomorrow. Matt the Brat Kenza, Wisconsin's own, is on the pole. Of course, he was very, 
very fast. Um, in both practices, uh, I expect him to be good again. I guess it's Cobalt Tools 400. It does take place tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. I believe that is uh, yeah, I believe that is Eastern Time. So, um, yeah, be sure to check that out. Catch that on Fox. Uh, I can tell you right now that Matt Kenseth is my pick for that race. I think he'll be really good. But then again, Kyle Edwards thought he was going to run away with the show uh, last week, and he didn't because of that early wreck. Jimmy Johnson, uh, and Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon dominated uh, Las Vegas last year. Came up a little bit short to the five-time champion, uh, Jimmy Johnson. I don't think that'll happen. I'm not saying Johnson won't be a factor. I just think he will be. He is every weekend. But that 17 car is going to be hard to beat. He set a new track record in qualifying uh, on Friday. And he is just going to be really tough to beat. He was fast in both practices. Uh, yesterday, I didn't get a chance to see the practice today. Uh, well, wait a minute. Yeah, was there, there was practice today. I didn't get a chance to see Happy Hour today. Um, I'll look and... And, uh, let's see if he was, uh, fast there, too. I guess it doesn't say. All right. Um, I will, however, uh, I believe it's updated. We'll see. Um, look at the lineup. Uh, on Fridays, I will, I will go through entry lists. Um, for everything too, yeah, it does. So, uh, we will start from 43rd. First of all, well, we'll do did not DNQs uh, afterwards. Starting 43rd with Michael McDowell in the 66th. David Reagan will start 42nd in the 6th. Tony Raines uh, will start uh, 41st. 40th will be Andy Lally. Travis Quapple starts 39th. 38th, Robbie Gordon. 37th, Bill Elliott. 36th, Landon Castle. David Gilliland, 35th, Dave Blaney, 34th, Dale Earnhardt Jr. will start in the back of the pack in 33rd, J.J. Yaley will start at 32nd, Joe Nemechek, 31st, Casey Kane, 30th, Mike Skinner, 29th, Clint Boyer, 38th, Casey Mears made the show in 27th, Kevin Harvick, 26th, David Rudman, 25th, Bobby Labani, Juan Montoya, Kurt Busch, Jeff Burton, and Brad Keselowski take you all the way up to 20th. Brian Vickers will start 19th, Paul Menard 18th, Denny Hamlin 17th, Trevor Bain 16th, Tony Stewart 15th, Jimmy Johnson 14th, Jeff Gordon 13th, Regan, Regan Smith 12th, Jim McMurray 11th. Now for your top 10. Um, Mark Martin, Martin Truex Jr., Ryan Newman, A.J. Almadera, good qualifying run for him, Joey Logano 6th, Kyle Busch 5th, the hometown hero. Uh, fourth, Greg Biffle. Third, Carl Edwards. And the front row was made up of the number nine of Marcos Ambrose and pole sitter Matt the Brat Kenseth in the Crown Royal Ford. Um, Brian Keselowski was the only driver who did fail to qualify. And David Reagan, do not... Uh, don't call him out. He was extremely fast to practice yesterday during his qualifying run. Um, on his first lap, he spun out, was able to keep the car off of the wall, but flat spotted the tires, so he was unable to continue, so he would start in the back. And that's where he will start tomorrow. Alrighty, this isn't much of a preview. I'll get better with it as time goes on. Like I said, Matt Kenseth is my pick. I think the race will be good. I think it is going to get a little bit spread out. I think we'll have a lot of green flag runs. That is pretty typical for Las Vegas. I think we'll see it again. Um, and that is going to do it for um, my Nationwide Recap slash Cup Series preview. Uh, I'm Jonathan Mosef for JM Sports 100. JMSports.org. I will see you later. I will be back tomorrow, uh, probably either after the race or on Monday, with a cup, with a cup recap.